In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create smart or spike alerts in DTERM. So let's go to alerts and click on add new alert. The first step is to choose feed source. So for example, a query or a folder, I'll select this. And then you can name your alert. So I'll click my central park docs. That will be the name of my alert. And then the next step is to choose whether you want to create a smart alert or spike alert. So let's start with smart alerts. Um, you can choose to receive notification on your email. If you want to receive it on your, on your mobile phone, you need to download our app, or you can do it through Slack or HTTP post. So I'll click on email. That's okay with me. And you can also limit the number of alerts you receive per hour. So you can select unlimited. So that means you receive alert every time a new mention pops up or you can limit it. So I'll click on 10. The next step is to choose filters. So you can enter a, a keyword. So that means that you only receive an alert when this keyword is in mention. So if you remember, I wrote uh, my central park docs. So every time a doc is mentioned in a, in a mention, I'll receive my alert. And then you can also uh, select source type. So if you want to receive alerts from specific sources or from all sources, um, you can also define times when you do not want to receive your alerts. It can be daily, weekly, or some custom schedule. So for example, I'll click this. So I do not want to receive alerts on weekends. So that will be my setup. And then you can also choose to ignore duplicate alerts. For example, if there are some retweets and you can also snooze your alerts uh, for a certain time, then we'll click on create alert. And then you'll see here all the alerts you've created. You can also um, edit them. Uh, remove them or duplicate them. And uh, here you have some detail about your alert. So let's go ahead and create a spike alert. So once again, I'm going to choose my query or folder, and then I'm going to name it spike alert and click here for spike alerts. Once again, um, in this case, you can only select uh, to receive notifications on email. Uh, and then you can select triggers. So if a mention has multiplied, for example, for 1.5, then you'll receive your alert. So that means if you have one mention per day, uh, you will get alert when you get two mentions. So now we uh, created our setup, we're going to go ahead and click on create alert once again, and then you'll be able to see whether it's a smart alert or spike alert.